next guest stars as a high school girl whose life dramatically changed when she moved to the glitz and glamorous world of a little town known as Beverly Hills. Check her out. We haven't been connecting lately, and I think it's because we haven't been intimate. Intimate? If we have sex, then you'll remember how magical things used to be between us. You'll remember our special connection. Come here. Jasper, no. No? No. What do you mean, no? I mean, I, I can't sleep with you. You have to. I mean, I mean, you have to... You have to give us a chance. Are you... Are you saying that if I don't have sex with you, you're gonna go to the police? Great audience. Look at the big smiles on the fellas in the audience. <laughs> they just sat straight up. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you. Well, Thank first you of so all, much. congratulations because I don't know if you guys know this, but you could probably guess it, but 902 and 0 was just picked up for its third season. Yay! Very exciting. Not a big surprise. Congratulations on the renewal. And you play a high school student. You're not a high school student. No, no, I am not. That happened, that ended a little while ago. You're from Canada, yes? I am, I am. So what was Canadian high school like? Canadian high school for most kids is very normal. We don't have the football and the cheerleading teams, which I always felt I missed out on, but... Um, you definitely could have been a cheerleader. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> I played one on TV, but... Um, ah, there you, you go. Know, live vicariously through the characters. But it was a lot of fun. And then in my second two years of high school, um, because of the acting, I went to a school. It wasn't a performing arts school, but it was geared towards professional kids. So I went to school with a lot of wannabe Olympians and professional skiers and athletes, a lot of actors, some wow. singers. So it was really cool. It was a so small program. So sort of program. like freeform, they would work around your schedule? Totally, and... yeah. For the kids who had a more regimented, you know, training schedule, they worked around theirs. For me, it was kind of like, show up if you can. Just get your work done if you can't. So it was a really nice, independent learning experience. That's fantastic. Yeah, it was really nice. So how did you get this role? Um, a pretty cliche story, actually. Actually, we I love cliche stories. Don't Come on, we? it's television. Um, I, I was interning at Fashion Television, which is a uh -huh. fashion network, clearly, and uh, got the call about an audition for 90210, not thinking anything of it. They'd already cast Annie, so that wasn't an issue. So I auditioned for Silver, which is Jessica Straub's character, who I know yeah, Jessica you're very familiar with. What a lovely young lady. She's amazing. So nice. Yeah, so, you know, I had to go up against her, which is no easy competition, so I was a little nervous and they, about they that. They oh, there we are. you guys. That's so great. Yeah, they flipped up. We ended up screen testing against each other, and last minute they were like, okay, just screen test for Annie anyway. And they offered it to Hilary Duff, but she passed on it, and uh, lucky me, I, I took over. Yeah. That, that kind of is like <laughs> yeah. 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 Cinderella story. <laughs> Hilary's visited with us too, another lovely young lady. Uh, you know, did you watch any of the original, or are you guys just too young? I was actually the only, <clears throat> I'm the baby of the cast, but um, I was the one who was a huge fan of it growing up, because my mom loved it. So oh, that was our mommy-daughter time, yeah. So how cool was it? I mean, so many of the original cast came back for, for the, the new version, 902. Yeah. How was it? It Working was very exciting. I mean, Jenny Garth was the first one that I got to work with, which is great. And I think you worked with her. As, yeah, she she's, was on here she's as well. Been here too. Yeah, Tori, she's a sweetheart. Yeah, yeah, Tori's amazing. I met her once. I was most excited for uh, Brenda. You know, <laughs> Shannon. Your Doty. character is very Brenda esque. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, I think she was warned ahead of time that I was very excited to meet her. Um, but I walked into her trailer and she gave me a big hug. Oh, she was so great. sweet. And Jason Priestley directed. And every time I saw him on set, I couldn't help myself. I had to be like, Oh my God, it's Jason Priestley. And it, and I he was like, you? okay, crazy. <laughs> but no, it was a lot of fun. That's sweet. It must be it must be especially fun and kind of electric for you to be a fan and now to be a part of it. Oh, it's absolutely. It's and great. it's such a huge franchise. You know, they really made a mark in television, so it's an honor to be a part yeah, of it. Yeah, now. now three seasons. I mean, in television life, that's it is. decades. It's great. It is. Very yeah, it's successful very exciting. For the mm -hmm. So, you know, what's coming up for your character? Give us a little tidbit. Yes, well, um, so far this season, we've seen Annie kind of get mixed up with the wrong crowd of one. And uh, she's been a bit of an outcast because of the incident that happened last season with the hit and run 
town and calling the cops on the party and everything. So she's a little bit of an outcast, and he has noticed, uh, you know, her emotional attachment to the death of his uncle. Yeah. And he's kind of fallen for her and is going to use that as a tool to manipulate her in the future. And, you know, obviously you find out all this bad news about this guy that you're dating, your instinct is to break up, but he won't let that happen for a little while. What are you like in, in, in your own dating life? Do you like to, you know, be the pants in the in the relationship? Am, like, would you ever take any of this? Oh, please, no, I'm such a pants girl. I'm like, <laughs> let me or leave me, you know? Like, I'm okay, I, I got it together, I'm all right. <laughs> So do you feel any pressures from being on the on the show, the show that's you know so much in the spotlight? We asked Jessica that too. Yeah, is I mean, it a weird part of the job for it, you? It is. At first, I think you feel a little bit pressured, and and you don't really know how to handle it. What should I be? How should I be? But after a little while, you just kind of come to this place where you get comfortable with who you are, and you are in the spotlight, so it magnifies all of those flaws that you kind of avoided. Uh, Especially out fixing. there. I mean, yeah. you live in the community you're talking about, and they're really is. There's cameras everywhere. Everywhere you go. Yeah. I mean, I was telling someone earlier, like, I can hear shutters clicking from a mile away now, right. and I'm, like, on Paranoid. edge. Yeah, right. totally. But, you know, eventually you just kind of let it go and, and strive to be the better person that you want out there in the public, you know? That's you... a very mature attitude. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Say, all right, well, they're going to be watching me. I might as well shape up, you Might know? as well shape it up. So 90210 airs Tuesdays at 8 on The CW, of course. Yes. Uh, grab a snack. We'll be right back. Thank yeah. you. Love you. Thank you.